talk a little bit about drone hacking. Um, do yes. you want to introduce us to the story about why do you have this drone and why do you know how to hack it? Yeah, that would be nice because, uh, oh man, it's it's a nice story. So the thing is, uh, not long ago, we had this Spanish CTF competition called National Cyber League here. And it was, it had, a, it's a really weird competition because it's not only a CTF, but um, there's also uh, different parts like uh, uh, communication and legal part. And so you need to ask, a team that is really multidisciplinary, disciplinary, right? So uh, we had hardware challenges, we had uh, like forensic challenges. Uh, the the communication team was <laughs> communicating. Now, like it was more like, oh, uh, we've had uh, some data compromise, so you had to follow the the right procedures to in order to score full points, right? So uh, there was one challenge, which was hacking a drone. And I've never hacked a drone before, actually. I've had uh, drones in my life, but um, I've never just tried uh, to go and hack them. So the challenge was really interesting. Oh, shit. Okay. The, the challenge was really interesting because uh, we were given 30, no, not, not 30, it was 20 minutes. We were given 20 <coughs> minutes of, uh, per team individually to try and hack the drone. The goal was to get the images, the, to stole the images from the camera of the drone. That was the goal. If you could display what the drone was seeing in your computer, you got the points. So it was a really black box because you didn't know which drone it was. You didn't know anything until you went there and you had this uh, 20 minutes to do. So uh, the drone in question was this one. It was a Telodron here. Mm -hmm. And it's a Wi-Fi drone, right? So uh, the drone just creates a Wi-Fi uh, at, um, access point and as the moment you connect to it, uh, you use the, the application of Telo, which is the brand of the drone, to communicate with the drone and you use your phone as a controller. You see the image in real time and everything. So I uh, have it here, the drone. So it's really small, this one. Okay, I had bigger drones. This, you know, and it can go outdoor, indoor, but it's it's really small. Uh, so this is a Wi-Fi drone. The thing is, um, I was the only one in the entire competition that managed to to hack the drone. Okay. And the fun part is that I didn't get the images from the drone. I lived the fucking drone. Like I made them fly. I made it fly, but I didn't get the images. So they were like, "Oh yeah, we were really specific about it. If you don't have the images, you don't have the points." And I was like, <laughs> "Like I made it fly. What are you talking about?" So in the end, uh, they gave me points for it. And since I was the only guy at the competition, uh, for context, uh, there were like, I, I can remember, I don't know if 15 teams or so. And I was the only person uh, there that managed to get that. And, and they made me like do a little talk about it at the end of the competition. And uh, at the end, they just g uh, give me the drone. They went like, yeah, you hacked it. You must have installed something. Yeah, it's for you. <laughs> I was like, great, <laughs> I, have a, I have a free drone now. So that's the story of why I have this drone and why after that, I got, um, I started playing a little bit with it and I learned quite a, a bit about not drone hacking in general because each drone has a protocol. It depends if it's Wi Fi, if it's a uh, radio frequency, uh, each brand of its drone will have different uh, ways of communicating. It can have different security measures. But for this one, let's say this is not, this is a toy. Like this is not a, a drone, to, a professional drone to fly anything. So mm -hmm. uh, they don't, uh, implemented anything uh, security-wise, let's say, right? So, um, but this is the most common drone that you're gonna find in the wild because it's much more common to find uh, someone who just bought a drone. It doesn't have to be this small, but uh, drones normally are Wi-Fi nowadays because then you can reuse your phone to control it instead of having to buy a dedicated um, trans uh, transmitter for it. So. Um, uh, the problem with having uh, drones that run Wi-Fi is that the, all the vulnerabilities that are affecting uh, the Wi-Fi as a protocol, as it is, are affecting the drone. This means that you can send the authentication uh, packets to the drone and you will kick the, the client. Like if someone is flying the drone, uh, you don't even need to know the password of the drone to kick that person. And most drones, when they uh, disconnect from the client, in a few seconds, um, 
will uh, start a procedure which will be the descent because if it lose uh, connectivity with the client can be because it's too far can be lots of stuff can happen so the default is the drone to descent mm -hmm. so I'm gonna show uh, different attacks to this drone starting uh, from no access at all which will be I don't have the password of the drone I cannot crack the password of the drone because uh, for those of who you don't know uh, when you in the Wi-Fi protocol uh, you can capture what's called the handshake of the Wi-Fi if you intercept when someone is trying to connect to a Wi-Fi network and it has a password, you can capture that handshake and you can crack it with brute forcing in local, like offline. So uh, you can do the same with the drone. So in case that the uh, password is really robust and you cannot crack it, it's okay because you can still de-authenticate the user and the drone will just land. And the cool thing about the drones is that you're not making them fly uh, two meters from you. And if they have a camera like this one, you can see live, you will just go explore with the drone. It has a good range, 30 meters or so. So the good thing is that uh, if the if you see a drone that is in Wi-Fi and um, you want to, uh, I'm not encouraging to do this in the wild, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that if you have high intentions uh, with a drone, uh, anyone can, with a low skill attack, with, there are tools that do it for you. I'm gonna, uh, show it. I'm going to share my screen and show some of the attacks. And you don't even have to know anything. You just uh, navigate from menus and you will authenticate the client because it's a really um, easy attack to do. So so, uh, so yeah. I guess that for summarizing this, um, with ethical and educational purposes, you are now yes. going to show us how to de-authenticate exactly. the drone from the legitimate user and <laughs> run fast and steal it. Exactly. Yeah. No, I didn't make up the story. This is not my neighbor's drone, okay? I totally won that company. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, for real. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna, okay. I have two phones, okay, here. I have my phone and will be the attacker phone. So this is my old phone just. Um, so I'm gonna start with a low, low privilege attack, which will be, I don't know the password of the drone. I can de-authenticate mm -hmm. the user. So, uh, for this, I uh, will need to share my screen. Share your screen. Yes. Okay. Uh, you have to enable it for me. Oh, yeah. You can now. Okay. Uh... Okay. Is it streaming? Um, yeah. We can see okay. me and yourself. Uh, I'm going to check the stream for a sec. Oh, that's my screen. Yeah, okay. There was a, a moment. Of yeah, yeah, it's your screen. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is first of all, um, uh, like all the <coughs> uh, Wi-Fi attacks, uh, you first have to start with having a Wi-Fi card, right? That uh, is compatible with monitor mode. What is monitor mode? It's basically uh, uh, like a state uh, you can put your interface on you know, in order to send and intercept packets. Like it's like not debug mode, but it allows you to send lower, um, uh, what's it called, uh, lower level uh, packets and data to Wi-Fi networks. So for this, um, uh, we're going to use a really cool tool, uh, which is called Argadon. It's really automated. Oh, so you're watching this. Yeah, that makes lots of sense. Wait. Okay. Yeah, can you? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I wasn't just thinking straight. <laughs> so we're going to use... Um, this tool called Argadon. Can you make can you make bigger the, bigger. Uh, the terminal? Like this. Yeah. Okay. Wanna... Okay. Okay. So this is basically a suite, right? That uh, has a bunch of attacks, and it's really easy to use. Uh, it's like a, a compilation of a bunch of attacks For into Wi a single tool. Yes, for Wi-Fi, only for Wi-Fi. So here we have my Wi-Fi uh, interface. I'm going to select it. And now we have to put it in monitor mode. Uh, that's what I explained before. Uh, if you don't do that, mm -hmm. uh, you cannot perform some of the uh, attacks we're going to do. So now, uh, what we want to do is uh, to perform a, a DOS attack, which is basically, um, so for the non-script kitty people out here, um, what is this happening? What this is doing underneath is basically sending um, 
add the auth packet to the uh, router, which in this case will be the, the drone. And then all the clients from the uh, that access point will disconnect. And I will show it. Uh, first, I'm going <coughs> to set this up. Uh, we need to explore that. Yeah, I'm going to turn on the drone. Uh, wait, I'm not checking the live stream. Yeah, so you can see my, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so if I like. Whenever, whenever you prefer the people to see your webcam instead of the the okay. desktop, let me know and I can make that bigger. Okay, perfect. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, turn on the drone. It has the light now, mm -hmm. uh, and that will create uh, the Wi-Fi the network of this drone. So uh, I'm gonna connect uh, with my phone because I'm the regular user. I have the the Wi-Fi password of the drone in my phone. I can connect to that Wi-Fi. And then I'm going to use the Telo app in order to communicate with the drone. So right now I'm connected to the drone. I'm going to open the app. Mm -hmm. Are you going to fly the drone in that small room? Yeah, of course. So okay. here, uh, it goes with so much delay. I, I can tell if it's running centered on screen. But the thing is, uh, you can see live the, yeah. the drone, yeah. right? Uh, so we are connected to the drone from my device. Uh, so right now, what we're going to do, uh, show my uh, Kali, uh, we are going to scan for networks right now. So we're going to do uh, explore targets. <coughs> and we will find the Telo, right? So we have here that the Telo, which is the Wi-Fi name of my drone. Uh, now we're going to select it. And now we're going to perform a auth attack. Uh, yes. And OK, so now I'm going to show you. This is my screen, right? I'm going to perform the attack. And as I start the attack, uh, it should disconnect. I'm not seeing my phone, but yeah, it, it should have disconnected. Yeah. OK, perfect. So right now, this is what the user is seeing, nothing. He cannot control the drone. He can do anything. If the drone were flying, now I'm going to show it again with the drone flying, it will just stay there. And if for some seconds uh, you don't uh, reconnect back to the drone, which you won't be able to because you are launching a continuous the authentication attack. Um, OK, uh, it crashed. No. OK, so uh, what I was saying, it's, man, it's only to see me with the delay. I'm going to use hide. Okay. <laughs> um, the thing is, um, uh, if you do this, uh, you don't have the password of the Wi-Fi, you don't have anything. You just know the the name of the drone, which is really obvious because it has the name of the brand in it. And uh, you can disconnect the client. And if the drone were flying, it will just uh, descend in a few seconds because uh, you will be disconnected and the protocol is to just land. Um, actually, I'm not going to show it now because I don't want to run out of battery. I'm going to uh, go on and then I will make it fly because uh, at the moment, uh, this is just the authentication, uh, and I assure you that the drone will just land uh, in a few seconds. Uh, so what I'm gonna do right now is, okay, what if uh, you want to try to crack the password, right? Uh, you have this drone and you don't want to authenticate the user, but you want to steal the drone uh, or perform anything that we're gonna explain um, later. The thing is. Um, yeah, uh, what you're going to do is capture the handshake of the user reconnecting to the drone. So you're going to authenticate the user from the drone. And at the moment it tries to reconnect, you will capture the handshake and you can crack it offline. And this suite also brings uh, an easy way of doing this. So we're going to do the same. I'm going to uh, reboot the drone. So while it's uh, booting again, um, I'm going to get this ready. So we want now to uh, go to menu. Uh, we want to perform a handshake tool here. Yeah. So we want to have, capture the handshake. Uh, continue. And uh, the way we're going to do it is with the same method of uh, the authentication that we used before. So the first one works fine for me. Um, yeah, it's working. Yeah, OK, it's on. So I'm going to connect my phone back to the drone. In the CTF, did you need to do also this to get the password and hack the drone, or did, did uh, they yes, give you the yes. password? Yes, no, no, no. In the CTF, uh, I actually went with some social engineering because 
there was a the guy with uh with the drone right that was there and for some reason uh he was not connected to the drone at all and i needed that handshake and i was like hey man uh, can you lift uh, the drone uh sec for me and at the moment he did that i just captured the handshake and well i managed to come <laughs> crack it <laughs> so so yeah um the thing is uh now i'm gonna connect to the drone again in my phone okay connected okay i have image here so uh right now what i'm gonna do is uh, launch this back okay uh that's fine uh close blah, blah blah yes okay so now my phone got disconnected okay so add uh imagine when i'm flying my drone i got disconnected the first thing i want to do is connect back to the drone like for sure so at the moment you try to connect again um wait something went wrong yes because i didn't reconnect because my phone is not working properly <laughs> hello let's see Yeah, let's try it again because that's not how it should work. Let's do the old. Is this work? Same. Yes. I'm gonna check because when you uh, do weird stuff to. Oh yeah, I wasn't connected at all. The thing is, uh, when you uh, start sending weird stuff to the drone, uh, it can start um, having trouble working properly because it's not ready to to do this kind of stuff. So let's go again. Hmm, it's weird. Like it's connected, but the uh, image is blank. I'm gonna just restart the drone <coughs> because I, it's probably poisoned by the all the packets I sent before. Probably. Demo time, because when you're jamming, when you're jamming uh, a Wi-Fi or an access point with a bunch of packets, even if you're due after you finish the attack, it can just stay like that for a while. So I'm just gonna reboot it mm -hmm. and try again from fresh. Do Remember, this is a toy. Like the Wi-Fi protocol is using, it's really. Like this is not ready uh, to manage anything non, let's say unexpected in the protocol, right? So let's just do it again. Let's connect. Um, people is asking, let's are connect. you using any special antenna for doing this? Or are you just using the one of the laptop? Um, okay, so for this, uh, this is another cool story. This is another cool story. So I went to this uh, computer <coughs> store and I was looking for a laptop, the one I own right now. and. There is no freaking way of knowing if the built-in antenna, the built-in Wi-Fi antenna is compatible with uh, monitor mode. So I was like um, breaking out of this uh, presentation screens of the computers and installing a tool that I had in a pen drive that told you if, he, the, if you could put in monitor mode the interface. So I found one that I liked that had this option and I uh, bought this one. So I'm using the, my internal uh, uh, Wi-Fi card that is uh, built in in my laptop, but you could use a USB antenna. Not fancy things happening here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, my drone is back to life. It's working again. I have okay. image. Okay, let's try to do it again. Maybe what I should do is, because maybe the channel changed, I'm just gonna explore for targets again, because since I'm doing reboots, Wi-Fi can change channel. Let's just do it from clean. Okay, have this. Go to this one. I'm gonna do a couple handshake. Yes, I'm gonna do a the oath. 20 seconds and let's <coughs> go. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so now I got disconnected from my phone and I'm gonna try again. Reconnect to tell. Something is happening. Something is wrong. Try now. Okay, now I reconnected now okay. to the Wi-Fi. And now we see that we captured the handshake, right? So the handshake is basically the, inf the encrypted information that your phone is sending to the Wi-Fi in order to connect, which contains the password. So uh, if you know the password, you can decrypt that. So now we can perform a brute force attack in offline. So imagine this drone was flying, whatever, and you just deauthenticate the user. And at the moment he tried to connect back, you capture the handshake. Um, this is the situation we are right now. I'm not making it fly because we're gonna run out of battery. Actually, uh, now that I have the handshake, I'm gonna turn it off and put it to charge because I don't want to make it run out of battery later. But we are going to run it, right? Yeah, yeah of course, of course. That's why I'm worrying that much about battery. You, so now we have the <laughs> we have the handshake, 
and let's crack it. So path, this is right, this is right. So uh, we can use a utility from this suite as well to crack it. Uh, but in if you don't want to use it, you can use launch aircrack, aircrack uh, ng with the file and then the word list. So I'm gonna use the the suite and let's go for offline the crypt menu, which is six. Uh, let's go personal Wi-Fi because there are personal and, and enterprise Wi-Fi's. Uh, personal Wi-Fi and let's go with uh, aircrack dictionary attack one. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, so <coughs> user share uh what man i can share or shared and now i'm dripping oh man i'm so confused yeah i think it's with it's shared, man yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i just yeah. i just yeah uh <laughs> so what is yeah um drop you so okay. we're gonna use this one and we're gonna start cracking so i chose a really easy password to crack it's password but even if it's easy man we're trying seventeen thousand case per second so uh it's really fast attack and i'm only using cpu if you have a graphics card this can be done really really fast so uh it's not trouble to crack a wi-fi password nowadays so we have the password right now so what can we do with the passwords lots of things first of all we're going to connect to the to the drone i'm going to take it again i'm going to turn it on and let's connect to the drone wi-fi with this password so i'm going to connect from my computer now as soon as the drone is working uh, yeah, I cannot connect because my interface is in monitor mode, uh, which means that I cannot use Wi-Fi right now. So I need to uh, take back my interface to normal mode, uh, which will be put in managed mode three. Then as soon as I do this, uh, I can connect to Wi-Fi. I have it available here. So uh, it automatically connects to the Wi-Fi because mm -hmm. I already had saved the password, but it will be as easy as just uh, finding the Wi-Fi here, Telo, and it will ask for the password. You will just uh, enter the password we cracked, and you, now we are connected. So uh, if you go if config, uh, you will see that we have this IP, right? We have three, why? Because the one is the drone, two is my phone that connected previously. If you know something about how IPs are assigned, they are uh, normally, they are in order. So. Uh, with this information that we are three, we can know that two is our mobile phone and one is the drone. So, well, one, so one, question. Well, one question at this point. Yes, yes. You are connected to the drone or your yes. mobile is connected to the drone? Both, yes, both devices perfect. can send commands to the drone? Uh, no, that's the fun part that we're going to enter now. Because even if you uh, connect to the Wi-Fi drone, uh, it will default to the IP. So this I'm wondering uh, in specific, um, like if a device is connected to it and another device connects, it can do anything unless uh, the first one disconnects, which makes sense. Okay. You don't want two controllers on the drone. <coughs> uh, but we have a workaround for this. So now mm -hmm. we're going to start um, with um, IRP spoof spoofing, right? So uh, we're going to perform a main meter attack uh, and we are going to, uh, send IRP packets uh, to the drone in order to poison its IRP table. So we're going to tell the drone that we are the phone and we're going to tell the phone that we are the drone. So we're going to perform a man in the middle. We're going to be in the middle of the communication. And if we open Wireshark, we'll be able to see all the data that is getting shared between the phone and the drone. And in that state of man in the middle, you can inject commands uh, to the drone mm -hmm. because uh, I, this drone, like most of the Wi-Fi drones out in the market, have an SDK. Uh, there's documentation on how to communicate with the drone, which ports it use, uh, everything, right? So um, we will uh, go from there. Uh, I tried to make a video of how it will be, uh, start from zero, like doing uh, an end map scan to the drone, finding which ports are open, um, uh, creating a rogue uh, Wi-Fi on your uh, computer connect the Wi-Fi, like the, the app, uh, the drone app to the computer and see what it's sending, to see what yeah. you have to send to the drone in order to communicate with it. <coughs> but um, it was uh, too messy um, and I decided not to do it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that will be the, the approach if you know nothing about the drone. Uh, but in this case, we know the drone, we have the documentation, so we know a bunch of stuff about it. I have open here. Uh, 
and we lost him. Awesome. <laughs> I cannot hear you. Now you can hear me. Yeah. Yeah. So I I misclicked uh, home. So I just closed the the, the call. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna just share the screen again. Okay. So because I have here the documentation of this drone in particular, and it's really cool because it tells you. Let me know when my screen is. Yeah. yeah. On. Okay. So here you have the. The architecture of, of the ports that are using, how it communicates, uh, which ports is using, uh, the well, it's not here, like uh, which uh, responses are you expecting from the drone, which commands you can send to the drone. So if you send this command, which is called command, nice, uh, the drone goes into SDK mode. Uh, this means that you can interact with it uh, by sending uh, raw data um, to that specific port. The thing is, you cannot do this if there is someone using the drone. Mm -hmm. So even if you hack the drone, even if you get the password, even if you whatever, uh, since there is someone controlling the drone, you cannot send uh, data to it enabling this, uh, this attack. So that's why it comes handy to do the um, ARP <coughs> poison, because the drone will think that the packets that we are sending are from the, the mobile phone. And that allows us to enter in this mode and basically do whatever we want to drone. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna show something cool. But the, uh, is what this, you're gonna do? So, sorry, man. Is yes. this because the drone is checking that your IP address is point to, or which kind of authentication is happening here? Uh, the thing is, I don't think any authentication is happening at all. I think it's just the IP. If it detects from this IP, uh, it will um, allow it. And since we are doing I'm mean, in the middle, uh, it like it sees our IP uh, with the MAC address of the phone. So we are able to, to send the data, right? So so if we create an interface with the IP address of the phone and the MAC address of the phone, we might be able to attack it also. Yes, that's right. That's really probable, actually. That's a good experiment to do. <laughs> cool. So um, yes, so what we're gonna do right now is to uh, turn on the drone, connect the phone, uh, and from the computer, in the state we are right now, which is we know the password, we're going to do uh, a spoofing attack. And at the moment we do a spoofing, uh, we're going to enter SDK mode, uh, sending a command, right? So in Python, really easy. You just import socket. And basically, let's uh, bind to this port. And then let's connect to this the port of the drone, since it's UDP. Uh, it will just send data. It doesn't care if it gets there or not. So we need to listen and send to. Uh, so we're going to go uh, in command mode and then do stream on. That will make the drone start sending uh, the stream data uh, in, a, in an encoding of H256 uh, codec. <coughs> so we can decode this happening in the port 11111 that we're going to see now in Wireshark. We can decode it with FFplay and we will be able to hijack the drone images in my computer in real time. So we're going to do this right now. Uh, first of all, I need to turn on the drone. I need to turn on the drone. I need to connect my phone to the drone. Man, my phone, since this Wi-Fi doesn't give me access to the internet, my phone don't like this Wi-Fi, and it's hard to connect to it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, OK, now it's working. I'm, I'm connected. This should be moving. Yes. Okay. So I'm connected. And uh, now my computer uh, will is also connected, right? So right now the drone has the phone, which is controlling it, and my computer connect to it. So we're going to perform the, the RPA um, poisoning attack. So I have this already set here. I'm going to just do a zoom for you. So what we're going to do here for you to see is basically uh, we are using RP spoof uh, in the interface uh, 1 and 0, which is the one we're using. And we're going to uh, spoof um, first to the tell the, the access point that we are the client and tell the client that we are the access point. It's really easy to understand, right? So I'm going to use a Wireshark to visualize this. OK, so this is the Wireshark. And as soon 
as I start the, the attack, password, we're going to start seeing data happening, right? We see a lot of data here. So this data is basically all the beaconing, all the, all the information that is being sent real time, the images, everything. But the images that sends the drone to the phone application, it's in a really custom weird protocol that we cannot decode. But since we're in the middle right now, and I'm going to show it, uh, I can go ahead and execute this in order uh, to send the stream on command. And as soon as we do this, uh, you'll see that now we receive data in the port 11111. This data is data that we can decode because we know how is it encoded. So to recap, we are doing a uh, man in the media attack to the drone and the client. Uh, we abuse that uh, to be able to send a command that the drone will execute, thinking that it's from the phone, even if it doesn't make sense. Um, <coughs> Because it's not secure, and that's uh, what everything is about. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this state, uh, we can execute uh, this FF play command that I'm going to show here. So uh, prop size 32, which is basically um, uh, to reduce latency, to see it real time, uh, the UDP port uh, that we are using, and the frame rate. So as soon as I execute this, right, we are seeing in real time the drone. Yeah. We are hijacking the data from the drone. With all this complex attack, let's say. Which, uh, now the, which game is that one, man? Uh, it's my background, man. This is my, my other computer. I'm my, my laptop, and this is the background of my other computer. So, um, uh, yeah. So, uh, awesome. yeah. This is the this is a really cool attack. This is this was the intended way of the attack in the competition I went, and f for me. Instead of doing, I'm going to stop the spoofing. And as soon as I stop the spoofing, uh, I should stop receiving data, which I don't think I will stop because the drone is already sending the data to my MAC address. So it's really messed up right now, the Wi-Fi protocol. Anyway, so the thing is, I'm going to stop this. Uh, uh, what happened is with the, uh, we performed a man-in-the-middle attack to the drone. Uh, the drone thought that the packets we were sending were from the already connected client. And we were able to put it in SDK mode and get a uh, stream data in a protocol we know, so we could decode it. Um, if we read the documentation, uh, we in part of doing stream on, we can do a uh, lot of interesting stuff, which I have saved here. Uh, one of them is my favorite, which is basically you can change the the drone Wi-Fi password, Wi-Fi password. <laughs> if you execute this one. Wi-Fi, the name of the Wi-Fi and the password, even if it's mid-flight, it will change the password. So uh, if the drone is flying, actually, I'm, I'm mistaken. I think it has to land. And when it's landed, you can change it. But you can first change it to land, change the password, and connect and steal it. So, so you so, cannot change the password while it is flying. No, but you can land it, then change the password, and then steal it. <laughs> 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 uh, but also, if you are to the point where you can send commands, uh, this is not even worth because uh, you can just connect, you can deal with the, uh, the client with the method I showed previously, and you can connect back with your phone because you know the password. So yeah. you can hijack the drone, right? So uh, now let's uh, let's make the drone fly. Uh, let's uh, what attack uh, would you like to to see? Like of all the I talk I showed, um, do you want me to deal with the client and see how in a few seconds it will automatically land? Uh, do you want me to? Uh, do the ARP spoofing and then... I, uh, okay, if I, can, if I can choose, let's do something, man. Let's okay. repeat the streaming... Don't go crazy, huh? <laughs> no, yeah. it's going to be crazy. Let's repeat okay. the streaming stuff and while we can see in the computer the camera of the drone, let's mm -hmm. uh, make it fly. Fly it. Yeah. Okay. So we uh, can see the camera, how it is elevated. Okay. That should work, okay? Because we are... Uh, there's a chance that it won't work because, uh, no, it should work. I'm forwarding the, it should work. Let's try it. Okay, um, live, let's do it Also, live. Isaac, we have three yeah. minutes left in this meeting. Do you, do you think that's enough time for the demo or do you want to restart? Definitely no. <laughs> let's, Something let, will go wrong. Let's restart the, the meeting then, okay? Sure, okay. Okay. Let's restart this thing. <coughs> uh, 
Ooh. Hey guys. Well, let's see. If, let's see if um, Isaac is coming. I think it's going pretty well. Um, we are. We have been hacking a drone via Wi-Fi. Um, at the end, it's well probably the easiest way to hack a drone. I guess if it were using some specific protocol, we could have some troubles doing that. Um, um, I, I didn't know it was got Wi-Fi, so all my questions about hacking drones with Flipper Zero will need to, to wait to, to another episode or something. But it's pretty interesting how Isaac will be able to get your drone, Wi-Fi drone, just authenticating you, cracking your password, sending commands and running faster than you, I guess, because at the end this drone only <laughs> takes like 30 meter, meters, 50 meters, so... You will definitely see who is the guy <laughs> yeah, <in> your drone. <laughs> I mean, it's just to to showcase that those are toys, and toys are not meant to be secure, <clears throat> and they are using protocols that already exist. And this surely won't happen in a professional drone, for sure. Uh, but in, let's say, public accessible drones, you will encounter lots of stuff like this. Uh, this uh, attack passed to the point where we had access to the SDK, uh, that's a specific attack for this drone in concrete, in specific, sorry, but uh, for example, the RP spoofing, that can be done widely in any drone and you will let, most likely get also the um, image data from it, but uh, its implementation is specific, so uh, that's why you have to go yourself and try it and then you made a paper, <laughs> make a paper <laughs> for it. So, um, so uh, to recap, I'm going to make the drone fly, I'm going to perform the RP spoofing and then we're gonna see in the no, my computer the what the way. drone is seeing. We are going to see what the drone is seeing and then we are going to make it fly so we can see how the drone starts flying. Okay, right, <laughs> makes sense to me. Okay, well, do it now. I think it's bonus points if I crash the drone live. <laughs> <laughs> just okay, just so, try to don't yeah. get hurt, man. Okay. Uh, I don't want to get banned for, for tweets so soon. Yeah, right. It's all your fault, man. How do you allow this in your chat? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so this should work. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Okay. Uh, okay. So I want to uh, not have this here. Actually, I want to have this and also this ready. And I so okay. Let's go. We have no guarantees that this will work, okay? Because I have not tested it, but in theory, it makes sense. But then lots of stuff can happen live. Let's connect to the drone. Let's start the attack and let's see if it uh, flies. Okay, I'm connected to it. Uh, I should open the app. Yes, I have, okay. So, okay, whatever happens, let's see. <laughs> Oh, uh, this, this, this. Start, start by sharing your screen. Oh, uh, I'm not sharing my screen. No, you're not sharing your screen. That's a good thing to say, like, uh, two minutes ago. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, you, I'm going to... You have been uh, doing things with the drone on the mobile, not with the computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't remember I was actually... <coughs> like this. Anyway, share screen. You're right. And the screen allow. Good. Nice. Okay. So I don't want this. I want stream on command. Okay. So uh, I'm connected. It's working. Okay. I'm gonna do uh, this attack. This attack. I'm gonna start the this. I'm gonna perform this. We should see. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see if it flies. We have no guarantees. Let's see. Okay, it's flying, man. Okay. So I'm gonna wait. Okay. Nice, okay. nice landing. <laughs> so we managed to 
uh, to actually uh, make the attack. And see that the, the client doesn't see anything. So we are hijacking the stream data to our computer. <laughs> So, and, uh, yeah. but, but, uh, but could you make it fly from the computer R right now? Yes, sure. Yeah, yeah, right now I can do it. Look, I'm going to just put it here on the floor. Oh, see, Look, my floor must be dirty. <sighs> okay. So, <laughs> like my feet, man, that's three euros. So, <laughs> um, the thing is, I'm going <coughs> to, uh, we're talking, uh, I can do a takeoff comment. Okay. Uh, take off should work. Uh, but, let's see LP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see the screen while, while it take off. Okay, it worked. And now, before it freaking crashes, let's make it go down. Be careful, be careful. It's it's approaching. Land, okay. <laughs> land and it go land. So we can control the, the drone from the computer. What, what about that emergency command? Oh, that's a really cool one. I have not tested it yet, man. Do you want me to test it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I, I think I know what will happen, so I, I will be ready for it. So, uh, no, I feel I need to take off. Yeah, I think you will need to take off first. Yeah, makes sense, right? Yeah, and okay. now uh, let's do the emergency. No, that, that is land. You, it, you... Like the emergency is just... No, uh, no, no, you didn't use emergency. Oh. Ah, that, oh, that makes more sense. I was like, man, this is not supposed to a job to stop. <laughs> right. So uh, that's right. Take off. <coughs> okay, now. And let's do the emergency now. Okay. Okay, let's see. <laughs> it just falls into like, <laughs> stops completely. Nice, nice, nice. I forgot I had this here, man. <laughs> really nice. But again, like this is like uh, at this point, this is not hacking. This is just using the SDK interface. I'm not, I'm not um, uh, hacking at this point. The hack here is basically the RP spoofing, being in the middle, uh, like streaming the data into my computer, uh, decoding it from the port one 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 one. So that's what's going on. Uh, what I'm doing here is just playing with how it's supposed to work. I mean, not really because I also have my phone working uh, with the drone. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Once, uh, you have access to the, uh, drone Wi-Fi, uh, then it's up to you, whatever you want to do. You can, uh, try to see if it has an SDK and control it yourself. If you want to authenticate the client, it's, uh, there are endless possibilities, you know, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just turn it off. Okay. And, uh, link drone, please. Okay. I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, so this is basically uh, uh, Digitello. I'm going to just paste it on the chat. Wait, I don't see myself at this point. Okay, I'm going to stop live streaming my... Yeah. So so just yeah. um, a summary of what we have just done for the people that just joined it. Um, this hack just had his Wi-Fi drone. Um, he started by the authenticating it. Um, he installed the handshake, cracked the password, joined the Wi-Fi of the drone, and then made an a ARP spoof in order to create a man in the middle and convince the drone that he's the mobile, or at least that the mobile packets are going through his um, computer. And then he just sent the needed commands to take off, land, emergency, and stream to his own computer. Right. You know, you know, um, <clears throat> I don't think you actually need, like, you said that in the streaming, the user could not see anything in the mobile phone because yes. you were actually installing it because you are doing a man in the middle. If the, you no, forward it's... the packets to the mobile phone, I think you and the user could see it. It's different uh, because what's happening uh, is that uh, uh, the drone is sending the images to the phone up in a really weird protocol. It's its own implementation of however they want to decompress data. But uh, the SDK, when you go with the command stream on, it will send in a known codec, which is um, H256. So uh, what's happening is that the drone cannot send data in both formats at the same time. It's not designed to do so. It's not a usual thing to happen. So mm. the thing is, 
uh, what we're abusing here, abusing here is that uh, since the drone thinks that I am the client that is already connected, because if someone is controlling it with the phone, you cannot you cannot put the drone in SDK mode. There's no way because the phone does not have this option. Yeah. But since uh, since I'm sending raw packets uh, to the port directly and it's UDP and he sees the IP from the already connected controller, he don't do any security check. So it allows me to put the SDK mode <coughs> and invert some packets. And when I inject the stream on, it will start streaming in that other format. So it's normal that the phone uh, just uh, is uh, uh, black because it's not receiving uh, data in the format it expects to. Basically. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I guess that if you connected two mobile phones, will both of them be able to see the camera? Without That's a good using question. Just streaming comma, just connecting to. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna test it right now because I have two phones. Because I was about to demo, like stealing from one, but it's really hard to do. Like with this camera, with the drone, yeah. with two phones, with the computer, it's really hard to do on live. But yeah, I had to come two phones with the app installed to do. Yeah, let's try to connect with both phones. Yeah, um, let's do it. We can do that as our last demo. Sure. Okay. Nice. <coughs> oh man. <coughs> this hack is focusing hacking <laughs> on the mobile phones. And you did all of this in 20 minutes. You didn't know anything about the drone, you didn't know anything about the SDK, you didn't yeah, know anything I, about which Python I you knew. would need. Thing. man we i went there i saw the drone and i was like okay i need to get the data i started just googling uh drone, drone hacking done but everything started from i at some point i say okay if this is a ctf challenge and they gave me 20 minutes the, the it's something that already exists that must be information about it it has it must be something that is, has already been done mm -hmm. so i searched for this specific uh, model and i seen that it had an sdk once you are connected to it. And I was like, okay, there's no way to get uh, clean data from the drone without connecting to the Wi-Fi. Otherwise, it will be breaking the Wi-Fi and that's not happening like this. <laughs> so I say, okay, I have to connect. And the, other, the only known way of connecting is if it's not with uh, weak um, web uh, protocols or mm -hmm. stuff, it's just getting a handshake and connecting. And I was like, man, do they really expect me to crack the password? Yeah, it was uh, like Sabertooth, it was really up in the rock queue. So, I did that, uh, that, and the thing is, uh, when I got the password, I got the password to connect to the drone, I had two minutes and a half left, two minutes and a half. And I said, like, I, I said, okay, two minutes is a long time, and you have the password, just relax. Went to the Wi-Fi, connected to the drone, it connected, I was, okay, I'm connected. I'm not gonna do all this bullshit that says here of the RP, I have no time for this. So I Googled, I did a little dork, I said, Telo, GitHub, Python, SDK, enter. Went to the first uh, GitHub page, copied the entire script, pasted it in my computer, executed. Missing dependency. Okay, it installed, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it was needed. And, th and at that point, I had zero expectations of anything happening at all. I just click execute and it started doing stuff. And I was like, Okay, it's executing, but obviously it's not working. I haven't put an IP. I haven't, and all of a sudden the drone lifted. Like it, it starts flying. <laughs> and then I was like, "Was that me?" And then the guy was checking his phone, and I was like, "I, I, I did it, man! It's flying!" And then the, the time ran out, and they say, "Okay, now make it land." And I was like, "I don't know how. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what even <laughs> happened, man." <laughs> so, so yeah, that's what happened, and. They that's when they said that, yeah, very cool, but I haven't seen the images, so technically they were really strict about it. I I didn't see, I didn't have the points. So at that point, I was like, dude, the goal is was to hack the, the drone. Like, with the method you were intending me to do, you cannot even do this. You just get the images. With what I'm doing, I can steal it. I can watch the image. I can do whatever. I just didn't show it on the screen. And he was like, yeah, that makes sense. And I was like, okay, Talk to whoever you have to talk to in order to give me the points. I mean, it's that easy. So I just gave with the competition, and at the end, since I was the only one who managed to solve the challenge, and it was in an unintended way, like, not unintended, but not what they were <coughs> expecting. Uh, that's why 
uh, they ended up gifting me the, the drone from the competition. It was a really cool experience. It was really nice. So uh, I'm connecting with both phones. Mm -hmm. I'm connected with both phones. Uh, I'm going to open the app. Is it connected? Yes. Uh, keep connected. OK. OK. In one phone, I have image. Mm -hmm. And the other is loading. And the other? is a booting it's loading it's not working it's not, it's not working this. because it's this this phone has the ip assigned of three the, the ip at 10.3 mm -hmm. and the data is being sent by default to the uh, 10.2 it doesn't care about anything else so i cannot get the data here it, it's not even receiving anything yeah, yeah meanwhile yeah. this one it's receiving makes sense so makes sense makes sense really nice experiment to close this man yep well, Isaac, um, it was great to talk to you. Thank you for spending this time with us. Um, Same, man. Thank you for inviting nice me. To, to remember attacks such as a ERP spoofing. I haven't done that in, <laughs> in a while, man. It's something uh, you don't need to do in a lot of places nowadays. Even if you can do things like this in Kubernetes, which is amazing, yeah, that you can just uh, go back to these traditional attacks to, to compromise things nowadays. Um, well, you also told me that you have some kind of cool Tempest attack to show us, but yes. your hacker ref um, got a little Died. bit broken. So yes. if at some point you manage to fix it, uh, let me know because that will be something very cool to show here. And I don't know, man. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, like uh, before going, sorry, uh, someone asked to get the. The, the link of the drone. So I'm just gonna uh, type it in chat right now, real yeah. quick. So it's basically, oh, not this keyword, this one. It's a uh, uh, digitello. It's around 100 euros or so. It's like, I'll say it's, it's a toy, but it's really cool playing with this kind of stuff because when you play with stuff that was not designed to be secure, you you can do pretty interesting stuff. You have fun. You have fun, definitely. Yeah, man. That's what it's all about. So, um, yeah. Thank you, everyone here, for joining us. And hopefully, I'll see you someday when I fix my hacker head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. If you manage to, to, to fix it, let me know. And, and you can definitely come back. Or if you have any other cool stuff, also let me know. And, and also, sure. for the people that are just watching this, um, if you have any nice research or fun thing to do, like Isaac, um, you can just contact me in Telegram, Twitter, Twitch, or whatever. Um, and you can come here and show your researches. Um, anything new, fun, interesting related to cybersecurity is very welcome in Hack to Life. Thank you, Zach. Okay. See you later. Thank man. you so much. Bye, everyone.